What do you get when you take a pair of scissors, combine it with the craftsmanship of a nice Leatherman multi-tool, the functionality of an emergency escape tool, mate it with a transformer, and then pump it up full of steroids? What you get is this. The Leatherman Raptor Medical Shears Slash Multi-Tool. And why do I say that it's a transformer? Well, it transforms with sound effects. There you go. These things were originally designed as an emergency tool uh, for special operation medics, but they could also be very useful for EMS, for fire department, first responders, military, preppers, law enforcement, tactical guys. Uh, these things have a lot of functionality to them. So some of the features that it includes, it has a 420HC stainless steel medical shears. You see here that cut through anything. Has a nice little uh, seat belt cutter here, a strap cutter. Also oxygen wrench that you see over here. On the back, you see this little notch over here. This is actually a ring cutter. So if you were to damage your finger and need to cut off a ring in an emergency situation, it would cut through soft metals like gold and silver. It wouldn't go through uh, titanium or tungsten steel. It also comes with a nice little lanyard hole that you see here, a glass punch, and a pocket clip. And then it also includes a Molly compatible polymer holster so you could have it on your belt. Like you see here, it locks into place. A little emergency uh, release here. You could actually make this ambidextrous so if you're right handed or left handed, it'll work. And if you don't want to have this thing sticking out like that on your belt, you could transform it back and collapse it just like you would your standard multi tool. Take the pocket clip on that side and then put it in here. So let's get started with this product review of the Leatherman Raptor Medical Shears slash multi tool. I'm not exactly sure why they call it the Raptor, but I think it has something to do with the overall appearance of the seatbelt cutter that you see here. Kind of looks like something you might have saw in the movie Jurassic Park. Clever girl. The cutting power of the Leatherman Raptor medical shears is really, really impressive. By the way, it comes with a nice little 5 centimeter ruler that you see here. I probably shouldn't say that it could cut through anything, but sometimes it really feels like that. I mean, cutting through paper is, you know, that's nothing for this thing. This thing just goes through any kind of paper product like, uh, like butter. You know, cardboard too. It's a no problem for that. Uh, this thing's mainly designed to cut through clothes for medical purposes, especially if someone's injured. So for a pair of jeans. But I just wanted to show you some of the other things that could cut through. Uh, but like the ring cutter that you see here that we talked about earlier. I don't want to cut my ring off because I'd get in big trouble for that. Uh, but you know, it's things like the little nail here. Let's also look at some pennies. Don't worry, these are just Canadian pennies. <laughs> Let's also go that in the right here in the back. So if you if you were to break your finger, for example, you need to get that uh, ring off as quick as possible. You'd want to put it in the ring cutter portion. Let's do two pennies here. Let's see if I can fit it. So as you can see, it's just cutting right through that. You could also use it for jeans, for example. If you wanted to, you just flip it over here. Use the seat belt cutter portion of it. Let's see if I can fold this in. There we go. Alright, so take the seat belt cutter portion of it. Just go right through those jeans, get into there, attend an injured leg, for example. So again, yeah, these things are really impressive, the cutting power on them. No joke. Now we're going to use the glass punch as well as the seat belt cutter of the Leatherman Raptor shears on this old beat up truck. Let's start off first with the seatbelt cutter. Wow. <laughs> and now let's use the glass breaker with the proper safety equipment. <laughs> that was awesome. Now let's go over the pros and cons of the Leatherman Raptor. Starting off first with the pros. So basically what I like about these medical shears is everything. <laughs> but if we're going to fine tune that a little bit more, let's start off uh, with the construction. The construction on this is just top notch. It's kind of what you'd expect from a Leatherman product. And when you've held a nice multi-tool made by Leatherman, you know that it's top notch quality. Uh, same thing goes with these medical shears. Uh, the craftsmanship on it is just absolutely superb. I and mean, there's not any kind of gaps or anything, anything that feels like it's a little bit loose. Uh, everything's just highly constructed. Uh, you could tell that they put a lot of thought into the overall design of this. It's a very, very clever tool. Uh, next, all the tools on 
this perform extremely well. It's not just some scissors that you have uh, with some add-on items of some, you know, the seatbelt cutter and things like that. All of these individual tools perform well on their own right. So the glass punch works extremely well, the seatbelt cutter works extremely well, the oxygen tank uh, wrench works well too. Uh, next, I like having all the functionality of these uh, additional tools on a pair of scissors. I really like having scissors just by themselves, but having these uh, extra tools on here just make it a re real uh, appealing option to carry for EDC purposes, if you're, especially if you're a first responder. Uh, for those of you that might have something like the Benchmade 7 Rescue Hook, this might be a good alternative, especially if you maybe if you live on the east coast of the United States where the knife laws are a little bit more strict and traveling uh, is a little bit harder. Uh, maybe these medical shears would be a better option for you in those kind of cases. Uh, next, just the cutting power of it. Yeah, it's just really, really impressive. It's just fun to try to cut through anything that you, that you would probably want to have a medical shears cut through. It's really fun to do. And the ring cutter is a nice uh, feature as well. I really like that it's collapsible. So if you wanted to, if you didn't want to have the holster, which is a nice holster, by the way, uh, you could have these in your pants pocket, for example, use the pocket clip on there and then put it into the holster. It's a very nice sheath that it comes with. It's very, uh, you could take this part off of it, put it on the other side, and then if you want to have left hand carry on it, and I, I think it's very clever that you could also have it in the folded position as well as in full extension. Now let's go over the cons. So the first con that I have listed is the overall price. It's at around $65. It is kind of expensive to spend on some shears. For example, you could pick up some Fisker scissors for around $10, although this doesn't have near the functionality that you have with the Leatherman Raptor. Uh, for example, you could also get some uh, standard medical shears, uh, which doesn't have any of the extra features, and those, that costs around $10 or so. And, but those are usually throwaway items. If you're in the medical field and you get blood on those, uh, you're probably just going to throw them away and just get a new pair. Uh, with this, this is something that you're going to want to carry long term and clean off. Uh, so that's kind of why the, you get that little price range on it. But when you compare it to other Leatherman products, it kind of sits around the middle of the price range for their catalog. For example, the Leatherman Charge is a pretty expensive multi-tool, around maybe $100 or so. So this falls in between the price of what you get for a real nice Leatherman and maybe like the Leatherman uh, Wingman, for example. It sits around the middle there at $65. Uh, the next con that I have listed, it's kind of heavy when it's sitting on your uh, belt, for example. This thing weighs in at 5.8 ounces, which is 164 grams, and you definitely feel the weight when it's on your belt. Uh, the next con that I have listed, I kind of find that it's a two-hand operation uh, sh pair of scissors, especially when it's in the clasp position. Uh, and if you wanted to fold it, for example, you definitely have to use one hand to press the button and the other hand to turn the handle. So if you're in the medical field and you're trying to do something on a patient, for example, and you want to get your scissors out, uh, you may have to use two hands to actually, you know, get it into the right position. So I'd probably recommend just having it in the full extended position like you see here uh, for quick access. Let's see if I get in there. There we go. Uh, so the next con that I have listed, I, I find that when it's in the holster, as you see here, I find that this handle kind of sticks up, kind of it kind of protrudes a little far. So especially if you're sitting down, uh, this thing's going to jab into you a little bit. Uh, you don't have that problem when it's in the collapse position, but when it's extended, uh, that's de definitely something that I noticed. Uh, the next thing they have listed is on the ruler that you have here. The ruler, it's not really etched into the metal that you see here. It's just kind of painted on these, these markers here. And when you're dealing with, uh, you know, blood, you're probably going to use a uh, certain kind of cleaning agents to, when you want to clean it all off. And I have a feeling that over time, this would probably uh, wear off. So I kind of wish that it was uh, engraved in here. So even if it, the paint did rub off on here, uh, that it would, you would still be able to use that ruler on there. Uh, and for example, the, the last con that I have is just, you know, when you're dealing with blood, there's all these little nooks and crannies on here. And while it is uh, cleanable, you know, you definitely got to notice uh, probably you're going to have to clean it a little bit more. So if this thing was uh, you know, covered in blood, like you see here, you know, you're going to want to make sure that's nice and clean. You have to fold out a lot of things to make sure uh, that all that blood is taken care of it. And maybe over time, it's going to start wearing down on some of this ink in here. Uh, and that's all I have listed for the cons. By the way, this isn't blood, just some black cherry juice. That's going to do it for this product review featuring the Leatherman Raptor Medical Shear Slash Multi-Tool. In summary, this tool is just an amazing piece of equipment. The craftsmanship, uh, the quality of it, it's just top notch. If I was an EMT, this would be what I'd want to EDC with me. It has so much functionality and with the Leatherman brand, you know it's going to be high quality. So I'll provide all of the manufacturer uh, specs in the description box below. Please feel free to leave any kind of comments in the comments section below. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video featuring the Leatherman Raptor Medical Shears Slash Multi-Tool tool. See you guys next time.